Hi, I'm Congressman Ron Kine. Ever since the American Civil War, our nation has taken time to reflect and to honor our fallen heroes on the battlefield. And ever since General Logan's general order, we've set aside at least one day a year, Memorial Day, to commemorate that and pay our due respects to our fallen heroes. With Memorial Day weekend approaching, I hope all Americans uh, in Wisconsin and throughout our country pause and reflect and pay tribute to our fallen soldiers and to thank the veterans in our lives, our family members, our friends, our neighbors, for the service and sacrifice that they and their families have made on behalf of our nation. But there is a shadow hanging over this year's Memorial Day, and that's the investigations that have started about the backlog in various VA medical centers throughout the nation. I've instructed my staff to contact our VA centers and clinics in Wisconsin to ensure that we are not seeing the same type of backlog and detrimental health and even death cases that we're hearing in other regions of the country. But I've also written to the President and General Sasaki, the Secretary of the VA Administration, to expedite the internal review and the audit to identify what the problem is, to fix it, and to ensure this never happens again. And in that light, I've also called on the creation for a bipartisan Blue Ribbon Commission perhaps chaired by distinguished people such as General Powell and uh, General Wesley Clark or former Senators Bob Dole and Max Cleland. Uh, Senator Cleland was a former VA administrator uh, in previous administrations. That way we can take a nonpartisan approach to finding out what the problem is and ensure that this does not happen in the future. We, in our contract with our men and women in uniform, have a solemn obligation to uphold the promises that were made to them. I will do everything in my power to make sure that this nation honors that pledge and commitment to our veterans. That's why I also started the Veterans History Project, to try to encourage family and friends to record the story uh, of the veterans in our lives so future generations will never forget their service and sacrifice. I encourage those of you who have a veteran in your family or in your life to ask them to sit down and share their story. And if you're looking for more information about the Veterans History Project, please contact my office or go to the Library of Congress's website, loc.gov, for more information. On behalf of a grateful nation, we say thank you to our veterans who served our nation, and we pay tribute to those who fell on the battlefield. Happy Memorial Day, everyone.